Hi everyone, welcome to English with Aga. In this video, we're looking at the difference between the present simple tense and the present perfect tense in English. For example, what is the difference between I live in London and I have lived in London? Before we start, subscribe to my channel and get your free English grammar booklet from the video description. Okay, let's get started. The present perfect tense can be used in several different ways in English. For example, it can be used to talk about the past. For example, I have read this book. This sentence is about a completed action in the past. I have read this book. It doesn't matter when it happened. The thing that matters is that it's complete. It's finished. But we can also use the present perfect to talk about the present because it is called the present perfect. So, what is the difference between I live in Madrid and I have lived in Madrid? So, the present simple and the present perfect. The first sentence, I live in Madrid, is just about the present. I am talking about right now, this specific moment in the present. It is true now. I live in Madrid now. But in the second sentence, I have lived in Madrid. I am talking about the whole period of time between when I moved in Madrid and now. And that period also includes the present moment, now. But the focus is on the whole period of time. So, I have lived in Madrid for 20 years means I moved here 20 years ago and I still live here now. And I'm talking about the whole period of 20 years including now. Here's another example. I go to New York every year. I have gone to New York every year. What is the difference? The first one is the present simple. It is a regular repetitive action. I go to New York every year. And we use the present simple to talk about those repetitive actions. I have gone to New York every year for the last 10 years is also a repetitive action. So, each year I have gone to New York. So, what is the difference? When I use the present simple, the focus is more on the individual event. So, I go to New York every year. Every year is an individual event trip that I take. So, I'm just talking about those individual trips. But when I say I have gone to New York every year for the last 10 years, the focus is on the whole period of time between 10 years ago when I started going to New York and now. So, I am talking about a repetitive thing. I do it every year. But the focus is on the whole period of time, the whole 10 years, including now. Now, let's do a practice exercise. Tell me, should we use the present simple or the present perfect? I know or I have known my best friend for 20 years the present simple or the present perfect. I have known my friend for 20 years. So, we're talking about the whole period of time between when I met my best friend and now, the whole 20 years. I know or I have known your neighbour. He works in my office. What's the correct answer? I know your neighbour. So, here I need the present simple because I'm talking about the present moment. I am not talking about how long I have known your neighbour. 
I'm just talking about right now in the present. I know him. I play or I have played tennis every Sunday since I was a little boy. What's the correct answer? I have played tennis. So here I'm talking about a repetitive action. It happens every Sunday, but I am talking about the whole period of time between when I was a little boy and now. And that's why I need the present perfect. So the focus is not on the individual tennis games, it's on the whole period of time during which those events happen. I play or I have played tennis to stay fit. What's the correct answer? So here we just need the present simple. We're just talking about something that we do regularly. It's quite a straightforward sentence. So we just need to say, I play. How many did you get right? Let me know in the comments and don't forget to subscribe and get your free English grammar booklet from the video description. And I'll see you next time. Bye.